Sisters of Christ. This is a part two of sharing a little something. I found my notes about the three and a half years, right? Let me find it up. I found it. My note, talking about the three and a half years when the Lord told me 2025 all the way live, right? Let me get to it, y'all. Okay, here we go. It was, he gave it to me. Here we go. It was Daniel 12. It says on my note, let me read my note. The second coming of Christ, the end times. That 2024, three years from 2021, the end shall be here. We are living now in the time of, tr of trouble. Now is the time to seek him. Time is almost over. So that was my note. So this was it right here. <clears throat> Daniel 12. <clears throat> He gave me that and it was saying three and a half years, three years, but three and a half years. Because he gave me that back in 2020. I mean, 2021, I mean. And I told the other one was 2020, I mean 2021. It was in 2021 he gave me this. And then the other video, I think I said 2020, but it was 2021. So when he gave me something, I always write a note down. And that's what it said. Daniel 12, the second coming of Christ, the end times, that 2024. Three years from now, 2021, the end shall be here. We're living now in a time of trouble. Now is the time to seek him. Seek him. Time is almost over. So let's read Daniel 12, y'all. Because he's saying three and a half years. And then he told me that three and a half years that we're in the middle of tri uh, the tribulation. So let's read this. At that time, Michael shall stand up. Michael, y'all. Y'all know that's an angel. And the great prince who stands... Who stands watch over the sons of your people. And there should be a time of trouble, such as never we, such as never was seen there was a nation. Even though that time, and at that time your people shall be delivered. Everyone who is found written in the book, and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Say shame. And some the dust will wake. He's doing something shaking. The people will sleep. And many of those who will sleep in the dust on the earth shall awake. That what God told us last time. He said people are sleeping. Some of some, uh, everlasting life. Some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine. Like the brightness of the formation. And those who turn away. I mean, hold on. And those who turn many to righteousness, like the stars forever and ever. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. Then I, Daniel, looked, and there stood two brothers, one of the of this river bank, and the other on the and the other on that river bank. Two others. One on this river bank and the other on that river bank. And one said to the man clothed in linen, who was above the waters and of the river, how long shall the fulfillment of these wonders be? Then I heard a man clothed in linen who were above the waters of the river when he held up his right hand and left hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever that it shall be for a time, time and half a time. And when the power of the holy people has been completely shattered, all these things shall finish. Although I heard, I did not understand. Then I said, my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, go your way, Daniel, for the word. The words are closed up, closed up and sealed till the end, sealed till the end, till the time of, of the end. Many shall be purified, made white, and refined, but the wicked shall be wickedly, and none of the wicked shall be shall understand, but the wise shall understand. That's why I said God wisdom, and that's why I told y'all to go to the wicked. They they don't have understanding, but the wise will have understanding. God's people, you gonna have understanding. They shall not understand, but the wise shall understand wisdom. And from that time that the daily sacrifice is taken away and the abomination of desolation is set up, there should be 1,200 
in 90 days because I added that, that up. And it, it, that's how I came up with three years. Because the Lord had me to calculate that. And I came up to three years, which is three and a half years. Now I'm going to be for election. Three years. Blessed is he who waits and come to 1,335 days. But you go your way till the end. But you shall rest and will arise to your inheritance at the end of days. Now, will God say, don't worry about it. Don't stress. Rest. Because we're going to still inherit the land. Our inheritance. Because some kind of way he had me add these numbers up. He had me to calculate these numbers. There's 292 days. And some way with these numbers in here, he had me to calculate it. And it said three years. And I got up here 20, that 2024. And that's what the Lord told me. 2025 is all the way live. But he, he told us that he nobody knows the hour, the day that he gonna come, but he coming. But they never know that he gonna be like a thief. <coughs> <coughs> nobody will know the hour, the day that he'll come. But he gave us a calculation: twenty twenty five, all the way live, twenty twenty four, and that's what he told me about re-election. That's what he brought to me, my understanding. And then we're in the middle of the tribulation. The seven year tribulation is three and a half. We're in the mark in the half. So that's what I had to share with y'all because he had me to calculate this up and this is how I ended up with three years. And this, that's why I said 2024 and I said that's for the re-election time. So this let us know that so much stuff going to be going on the earth and this trial and trip with these tribulations and stuff. And also, you know, when the Lord told us, he said trial and persecu persecution, these lawmakers, even lawmakers and stuff. Don't worry about it. God got us. Because... Uh, People going to be looking for somebody to save them. And they're going to want to choose the Antichrist and when the third temple. Because the Lord had me to bring up about the third temple being built. So, this how he had me. I don't know how. He, I forgot how he got me calculated for three years. But it was something with these numbers. When, to the Lord, he showed to me. 2024. But he said 2025. All the way live. So, just know the Lord coming, y'all. Because they're going to be elected. They're going to... This one, the... Uh, the false prophet and the antichrist gonna be standing up, and that's what God told us about false prophets on the rise. People gonna be looking, don't don't be deceived about these false prophets and all this false lawmakers. I mean, false witnesses, false leaders, all these false peoples. Don't be deceived, y'all. That's what He took me back to. I went through there, and that's Daniel twelve, my note. So, but He said in Matthew, nobody would know the time, the hour. But he never say we'll never be aware uh, when he gonna come. But he said uh, the time. Let's see what it says right here. It says something about nobody would know the time of the hour or something. He said when he'd come. But no, he's coming, right? So he ain't give us. He ain't gonna never give us the time of the hour of the day he coming. But he'll let us know he's coming. But we gotta stay watch, be watchful in the Lord. But he told me twenty twenty five all the way live. And then he brought me back to this when he was telling me. Then he brought me back to that the three years about with the uh, the election thing. So y'all be blessed. This is my part two of me sharing to y'all. Cause he said 2025 all the way live. I'm like, Lord. And then he said, evil lawmakers and rule they're gonna be um January, they be making new laws and new rules and regulations. Even these evildoers. That's why God put punishment on them. Because he's talking about for us to be expected to be persecuted. And tribulations. So just know we expect to be persecuted, y'all. We're going to go through this. But God got us. So y'all be aware. Things will never be the same. Worship his holy name. Every knee will bow. God's name will not be in vain, y'all. People mocking the Lord and all kind of stuff going on. God for to show up and show out. And it said right here, uh, and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Remember baby, back then he told us, he said people are sleeping, but he for to do something, they're going to shake them and wake them up. And those who rise, and look, and, uh, and shall, some to everlasting life. Some to everlasting life. Remember he said separating the wheat from the tear and all this. Some people going to be, their foundation ain't strong. They're going to fall. Some to everlasting life. Some going to be shake, shake and awake. And some to everlasting life. Some to shame and everlasting content. So he's, he's putting up people to shame. 
those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firm formation and those who turn many to righteousness like the star forever and ever tell you that's why i say keep up in god wisdom y'all but he brought it back to me over here and had me to look at that's what it is and this is about the end times he gave me that so y'all be aware in jesus name he didn't get he gave me that in 2021 in my notes and i said 2020 but it wasn't 2020 it was 2021 that's why i always he had me to write notes down y'all so i had to share this with y'all this part too i thank the lord he get let me allow to come back to it so y'all be blessed in jesus name